We are in Ramadan and things are not easy, mostly for my brothers and sisters looking for jobs out there. But I will take this opportunity to wish all Muslims a happy or a happy Ramadan. I will say Ramadan Karim to all our fellow Muslims trying to fast to cleanse their names uh, in the books of Allah uh, to try to talk to God and maybe things can be a little bit different as we see them here in UAE or in the UAE my brothers it's tough in the, in the days of Ramadan since most companies are not hiring most companies are not hiring in the days of Ramadan but all you have to do is Keep pushing, keep trying, keep trying to improve yourself. Don't give up. Uh, I wrote something for you guys. Dear young Africans in the UAE, in the face of diversity, remember your resilience. Every challenge is an opportunity to showcase your talent, determination, and strength. Keep striving, keep living, and never underestimate the power of your dreams. Your journey may be tough, but your potential is limitless. Stay focused, stay hopeful, and keep pushing forward. Forward, keep pushing forward. Success always those who they are to pursue. With unwilling support, Tempo from Dubai, Uganda. Ah, things are not easy right now. Everyone is crying. You talk to someone, someone is like, no, I need a job. Someone is like, no, I need to earn something. This country is known for the weak, I will be there. This country is known for the weak, but all we have to do is keep pushing, try to improve ourselves every day. I see a lot of people trying to go for courses, a lot of people trying to, to add on what they know, which has inspired me so, so much. I've seen my brothers and sisters from Africa trying to add on what they know, trying to improve on what they know, not just sitting waiting for or doing one job and feeling comfortable there's no comfortable job in dubai today you have a job tomorrow you don't have i wish all my people can understand that this mostly goes to these people who are not in uh, accommodations or even those but because sometimes they also get affected but it's so much into these people who are in uh, these companies private companies small small companies which are not so big that side is not easy because any day a cafe is closing, any day uh, uh, a company is closing, it can be an ice cream company, it can be a saloon, it can be a tours company, it can be anything. Any time the company closes, but it, it, you have to be prepared. I would tell my, all my brothers from Africa, you have to pay, prepare yourself. Nothing is easy in Dubai, but all you have to do is keep trying. All my brothers in, in the UAE, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi, Alain, Dubai, you have to keep trying, you have to keep pushing, you have to keep adding on yourself. If you came here as a cleaner, make sure you leave this place has something else. You can be a security guard, you can be a driver, you can be uh, you can be a coffee maker, less a barista, you can be anything, personal trainer. Just don't feel comfortable. And my brothers, those who feel like you should increase on what you earn, you're not supposed to, you're not supp there, there's that kind of money which is so small, that's what I would say. Little money, don't work for little money. Try to push the bars high. Try to improve yourself from the start. Try to be that person who is willing to do what? To change yourself. Dubai is moving fast, UA is growing fast. This, I think in the coming years, this will be the main, 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 one of the main countries or regions to, for, the, for business. So that means you have to also keep going. I'll urge all my people down there, those who are in cleaning, you know, helpers, security guards, try to add on yourself, try to get that job which can help you. Try to get that independent mind because at the end of the day, a company can close and all you have to, to do, all you know is being a cleaner. Anyone can do cleaning. Anyone can be a security guard. All you need is a sealer. Anyone can be anything. But a driver will always get someone to drive or always get something to drive. Uh, 
a teacher will always get some people to teach because people are coming in every day. You know, a barista or a coffee is a, one of the most green things. Hospitality industry is big. It's every day opening doors. The experience you get, anything you get, will also add something onto you. You know, all you have to do is not not to give up. Uh, that was a short motivation to my fellow African people. Today, I actually came to talk about visas. Most people take visas, but they don't understand which kind of visas they need to take. Uh, we have a lot of visas in Dubai. We have visa visas, which is 30 days and 60 days. Because uh, I remember last time I had 90 days, but UAE decided to change that because of uncertain reasons. They changed and had, they had to remove the 90 days and left it on 60 days because they need you to pay again. This is a business country. What do you expect? So there is, uh, there, there is visa visas. There is visa change. There is visa extension. There is multiple entry visa. There is freelance visa for two years. There is spouse visa. There is work visa. There is golden visa. There is domestic visa. I'm here to break a little bit of them. Where I fail, I hope you, hopefully you guys will help me. I want to, to forward, I want to share this knowledge to my people who are down there in Africa, my Ugandan people, those who feel like coming to Dubai is hard, which uh, you, should, you should know which visa you need to get a job, which visa you need to work in Dubai or to feel safe in Dubai. When should you go for a visa change? When should you apply for a visa change? When should you move in Dubai and what you need to come to Dubai? I will start with a visa visa, 30 days and 90 days, or oh, 60 days, 90 days was removed, sorry. So 30 days and 60 days. This visa applies for those people who are outside Dubai, whereby you don't have a ban, you don't have any, any issue with UAE at large. You've been here or you haven't been here, but your name is clean. You don't have a ban, you don't have anything. That means you can come to Dubai anytime you feel like, as long as you pay the money. Uh, different companies, different travel companies are selling different prices. So it will depend on which company you choose. But I will tell you, coming to Dubai with a visa visa, it is as easy as anything. You're in Uganda there, you're in Africa down there, thinking that no, coming to Dubai, it can be hard, can be worth. It is as easy as nothing. All you have to do is like having um, 3,000 dirhams, you can come to Dubai ah, and enjoy your life and maybe go back or find a job. So the visa, visa the 30 days works is like this. The 30 days you have to apply for a visa from your home or someone here can apply your visa as your sponsor and this is done by these travel companies. They work as your sponsor to come from wherever you are, is it Uganda, Cameroon, Kenya, to come to UAE. They, ma they make sure they get you the 30 days. And that means you have to be in the UAE for 30 days. Meaning, when you, are, you apply, you have to forward your passport, copy, you have to forward your uh, your okay, there's passport photo. A passport photo, you send a passport photo, you send a, uh, your passport copy. Also, after sending all that, then a, a company will have to apply for you saying that this person is called so and so, is coming to Dubai and is coming under a certain company you will be staying for 30 days and that is put in the system all you need you have to buy a ticket which is two, a, a, a two-way ticket coming and going back that means you're not going you're, you're just coming as a visitor a visitor is, ex, is expected to be in dubai for some days if you apply for 30 days which is kind of risky because sometimes people fail to go back and they are responded uh, the 30 days you hear from the day you enter, it doesn't matter when you enter, as long as your visa is still valid. You have to enter from, for the 30 days, 
before your visa ends. Then the day you enter is when they start counting. The 30 days you, you have to stay in Dubai because a lot of people buy visas and they get caught up out there. So when you come in here, you have to buy a two-way ticket. Meaning, I'm um, here. If you you apply for, you're coming on first. They expect you by 30 years to be going back. That means you buy a, a ticket, a flight ticket, two to Dubai on first and a return ticket on 30th has to be paid on the airlines any you want as long as it is bringing you in Dubai and you have a visa copy so you come in on the 30th on the first then you have to go back on 30th that means you have to present two tickets the two and flow meaning you're here but you're not going to stay so people do that's the procedure you buy a ticket even if it's 60 days you're coming to dubai for 60 you're going to stay for 60 days you buy two tickets which the ticket that is going to take to bring you in and the ticket to take you back after the 60 days or 30 days are finished so i'll tell all africans you should get all this noise but there is a way because uh, there's a way bypass najua unaweza kapata kitu wenye wanaita dummy ticket unanua ticket mwenye nakuleta unapata dummy ticket inakurudisha dummy ticket ukiingia dubai wanajitoa inatoka kwa system automatically bo kuja ukubaypass kwa system hiyo gula ticket sebili waliwo abantu cheba kwa sababu na yuganda mostly baba afrika mostly cheba ita dummy ticket dummy ticket Eba ticket ye munge kujie Uganda kuleta Eyo kuwiri Eba, eba teri mu system Elabo ingi labo ti mudubai ni namalo kukiria linga Eyo ngevao Kogo savings ewa kasente So I will say the, the 60, day, 60 and 30 days Visas They are those who, which are Absconded free And those one which have absconded It means If you enter in Dubai and you you stay more than the days on your visa at on the first day you'll be absconded and an abscond means you will not do anything in Dubai you will not get a job you it, you, you act like a runaway from your, a person who bought you in your sponsor will will file in an abscond or the company which gave you a visa will, will file in an abscond meaning you came, you, you came in Dubai and you failed to go back so they were abscond you so that the person who bought you is no longer responsible about your well-being you stay in Dubai you're on your own you know and another thing there's also you will need an insurance that's that cheap you know it's like 50 dirhams but that is for the companies you don't know someone who's traveling can't understand that we can do you, uh, companies can do you uh, medical insurance that, that just, that, just in, in case of traveling on, uh, on the airport, or like on the plane, anything you get, you can be worked upon. You know, they are cheap because they expect no one to get anything on their uh, what? The, the plane, maybe if the plane falls down, you know, that means insurance won't work on someone who's dead. <laughs> so, that is 60 and 30 days for visas who come in Dubai to, to stay for 30 or 60 days. There, there are some visas which are absconded and others are not abscond free and others are not abscond free. Meaning, 60 days visas or 30 days visas, they, 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 they define prices. A, a 30 days is a bit cheaper and a 60 days is a bit expensive. And a, a visa which is abscond free is also expensive and a, a visa which is not which abisco, which is as abiscond on it is a bit low it has a low price meaning that those who apply for abiscond free visas will pay a little more high price because when you enter over stay all you have to do when you have an abiscond free visa all you have to do you just pay for the for the abiscond you don't pay for the abiscond you just pay for the uh for the let me say i'm forgetting for the fines, those are the overstay fines, and you can pay that on the airport, and then you get another visa. And another, I'll go on another visa that was 30 days visa visa for people coming in, those people outside Dubai. And this is uh, the next chapter we're going to the visa change. Visa change applies to those people who are in Dubai, 
and their visa is about to end or they're about to get finished you you came in dubai as a visitor you need to be renewing since your status in dubai you are a visitor to stay in dubai as a visitor you have to extend or change there is a 30 days visit visa uh, extension visa and there is a 60 days visa change this is airport to airport if your visa ends and you are you want you you have to you are the, you, you don't have to extend and you have to change you have you want more 60 days that means you will have to get out of dubai and come back that works how like this that that's works like this you you, you go to airport uh, dubai airport or you go to a company i'll start by a company any travel company will apply for you a airport airport visa change or a, a, a visa they will give you a, a ticket to take you let me say oman and you go to oman then after you come back to dubai in oman you don't go inside oman you will stop at the airport and you will have to wait from there as these guys here are, are applying for your visa as long as you, you you exit you get out of dubai that's when they apply for your visa for your visa change they say this guy is a, this person is out of dubai and we need his uh, we need to apply for him a 60 days visa issue comes in when maybe you have some issues with police maybe your visa delays when your visa delays when you're outside it's another thing i've seen people uh, excuse me i've seen people stay at oman airport for muscat airport man for some uh, for days some people are there for months because the airport is so big they even don't know that someone is here people keep moving and those who fail are deported and some come back because you go with a, you, you you go with a two-way flight a two-way ticket that means you go to if you left in the morning by by even you'll be back you know coming back your air you your your, uh, your plane will have to take you before might come when your your visa hasn't come back or isn't out yet whereby you have to bear with these travel companies it's not them who give visas it's the dubai or UAE, the uae government that issues or immigration that issues visas so if they apply for you they will have to wait also so you also outside there you'll have to wait you know it's not an automatic thing that you drop in something that it comes out it takes time you know it's not only you who is applying several people bro several people are trying to enter or change visa in dubai and i'm saying nowadays saturdays is so much avoided because of the uh the abscons people don't companies no longer do uh they do some but most of them mostly companies for africans are uh, extending themselves from the extension of visas, the 30 days extension of visas. They want they don't want to do anything is that because people easily go into Abuscon and or oh, people go into overstay and they don't want to take out their overstay. Meaning those people out there who want to change who want to do visas, we should look so much into the 60 days airport airport visa chain because that's the most easy and I will tell you a lot of companies are selling it cheaply I remember last time it was on 2000, nowadays people are selling 1600, 1700, 1800, I think that's the maximum. All you have to do is to find the right, right company that will help you try to get another visa. So that is it. A lot of Ugandans, a lot of people looking for jobs, a lot of Africans looking for jobs are considering. I would advise you to so much take the 60 days visa because it will give you time to find the job because the 30 days it can go away before you find a job. So, as you strive, as you push harder, as you're not giving up, try to have the 60 days because they are a bit longer. And don't forget, they can easily get finished. If you have the money, you can get a course. As your visa is, is moving, you get a course, you, start, you study for the 30 days and the 60 days. Even you finish, before you finish the 30 days, you might have got a job. It depends on what career you're trying to take. I've seen people coming here and going for uh, co uh, courses uh, like the ballista courses, uh, like the uh, the uh, SILA, 
people and people get jobs before even the 60 days before they, fit, they finish their first 30 days that means you can also do that i'll go on another visa this is the uh multiple entry visa multiple entry visa works for businessmen these guys who come uh in these people who come in dubai and want to come and go come and go until they finish their 60 days multiple entry visas this works for businessmen these guys who come here to uh, shop do shopping uh those guys who buy who come here to do lit, uh, i don't know what it's called what is it retail those who come here to show uh to kusubula you come here to find items to go take back to Uganda, take back to Kenya, take back to Africa. You consider a businessman, you have to consider the what? You have to consider the multiple entry visa and we have good, good companies can have you this and you can smoothly go and come back the way you want as long as you can buy a ticket which takes you and brings you back the way you want. You can be here for a week, you can be here for days, you can be here for anything you want so it's all about you to do what to take it it's the for businessmen i would say and those who want to enjoy those who have money children for the rich then we have to go to the i'll have i'll move on to the two years visa visa two years visa visa this one is a bit complicated uh because the way it is done i'll tell you i'll be honest with you guys this visa is like it's for 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 the low people it's not for you it's for people who are have businesses and stuff but there is a way we do it that everyone can get a freelance visa a two years freelance visa in his own way you will come to my company i will do your visa as my employee after doing your visa and you get the two years visa visa uh freelance visa i'll provide you with an and with an NOC and uh, WPS and uh, medical later all that stuff after you're finishing everything I'll give you your, your Emlex ID I'll give you your NOC and I was, uh, that's the no obligation later meaning that I'm giving this person a permission to work for any company he or she feels like working for that means that person can be in Dubai for two years, go back, come back, sit, dance, jump, wish his visa, be his own boss. Those who want to do their own business, Kali Wali, you can do whatever you want to do with the freelance visa. Two clean, free, two clean years in Dubai, trying to work for yourself, be your own boss, working for any company you want. All of them are not visa back home. Now, also, all of them are not visa, but though yours is a bit safe i'll go on to the spouse visa spouse visa this works for couples you have your husband you have your son you have your daughter down there in uganda or in africa you want to bring your daughter you can add that person onto the spouse visa you have you are married and you have the marriage certificate of course you can get that person onto your visa and you guys can be sharing anything as the spouse visa of for two years basically and you guys this first visa you can add a son you can add your husband you can add your wife you can add your you know spouse in general this is so much taken up by nigerians they, they use it so much which works for them i'll tell you nigerians this spouse visa works for you people all you have to do is get uh, your wife it can be a Ugandan, it can be a Kenyan, it can be anyone. But this the spouse visa. Then there is the what we call the work visa. The work visa, this is another name for the other freelance visa, you know. So the work visa is for these people who are under companies. A company gets you, I would say it can be a company, it can be personal like these people, it can be anyone as long as you're going to work into a company for two years you're given a two years work visa it's a work permit for two years or a work visa for two years this goes for all of us working under companies this this is the visa we have you're, you're taken from uganda you're coming to work for uh, danata you're coming for work for transguard to work to in, uh, for transguard you, you're here to come to uh to work for any company to buy that is willing to give you a visa even if you're looking for a job when you get that job a company will give you a work visa for two two years 
anyone working in Dubai is having and a company is having a work visa you know that's when you, you receive your Emirates ID and use it the way you want then there is this domestic there is, then there is this golden visa for the bosses for these people who own companies in Dubai it is usually for 10 to 5 years Basically, is it 10 years? domestic uh, golden visas for 10 years someone can be in Dubai for 10 years this is for business owners you have a business in Dubai you that big 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 person you can apply for this it's for people with the doctors you can be those people who are professionals mostly engineers doctors blah blah business owners you know and this comes they give you these 10 years and they give you visas some visas come on it whereby you can uh, add employ people on when you into your company you know ah, that is it then there is the domestic visa the domestic visa works for the kadamas for my people my sisters the housemates use is the domestic visa you know you come from the, the uh, uh, madame gets you from your country you come straight to work you'll be working for he, for her then that's when you get a domestic visa and this is where people come in and they go direct to the house is like she thought like she would be going out bro when you get this visa most people just go straight to work even if someone gets it for you you may not even get to see you this is where someone can be in a uae and you don't see her throughout because all she does is be in the house there's no way someone can get you a domestic visa and let you stay outside it depends you know it is so much it depends so I would say uh, the most visa is for ladies mostly because you're coming to work as an housemaid, a teacher, a nanny, uh, and all those kind kind of work. Some people are broken and they work as drivers. So it depends on where they want to fix you, but it's all about domestic work. You know, if you drive uh, for for a family, that means also a kind of a domestic work. So this works so much for ladies. So that would be the session. The session for today, I will, th I will thank all people who are liking and following our page. We are a bit slow because it's Ramadan, and uh, the system is a bit. Uh, we are going low on two things. So I wanna thank everybody for following and liking, and I also tell people, our urge people, there is a school. Oh, there is a school in UAE. It is called GX Ballista Institute. It is a nice school. I'll, I'll call upon my fellow Africans, my fellow people in the UAE, Ugandans mostly. Guys, let's come, let's come, and let's go support JEX. It is a good school and people are going, people can get jobs just even before they finish their courses when you have luck. And I will tell all people that it's not that jobs are, it's not that ballistas are too much, but all you have to do is try and get a skill and improve your life. You don't have to be a cleaner all your life. You don't have to be a security guard all your life. And I will tell you that uh, a ballista will get 3,000 and above. That's a must. If it is too low, it's 2,500. Too low. And if you're a junior. But it's usually 3,000 and something. So I'll tell you, I'll encourage all my lovely Africans to please come be part of Jake's Ballista Institute. It teaches and gives a certificate to all people who go there and study with them they have good teachers good good teachers i will say big up to teacher solomon i will say good big up to teacher alex and jim herself so people you just come in at jackson maybe improve your life there are a lot of courses but i will urge you all people to come to jex maybe from there you can improve your life i can see people giving testimonies i myself i'm taking a course out there and i will be graduating this month and i think i'll enter the coffee industry i don't think people are ready for me you know the way i feel motivated the way i feel pushed the way i feel uh, the way i feel myself as a ballista is another case so people just wait for me and i'll be sharing my journey one day i'll be and also we'll be starting to share some ballista skills onto this platform so i'll tell people please those who wish uh dubai eye for the best will be bringing in that the episodes for Ballista, I'll be bringing in ballistas, ballista teachers, ballista uh, students, and ballistas themselves, those who are in the field, to share us or to share with us the information they got, the struggles, and uh, 
the going. And also, I'll do this, I'll tell this to all my fellow Africans. If you get a chance to start a course in Dubai, make sure you push yourself, make sure you try to find yourself a job. Don't think that after studying that camp or that school that gave you the skill, it's the one to get a job. When they get a job, of course, they'll start with you. They are students, you know, because you students, like I know at Jake's, students come first, you know. Students come first. And they are, they are, it's, the good thing is that they give their, uh, they are, their studies or their skills that uh, you can pay in installments, you know, it's just favorable for everyone. So I'll call upon the, everyone to be part of uh, that. You can become a ballista and we can, you know, build our community as ballistas from Jex and, you know, we can try to change our lives, you know. You can, oh, but for me, one thing about, about me, um, I like being multi talented and I don't like being put down. So I like to have more than one skill. I can do graphics and I can do, I can be a ballista and I can be a YouTube presenter and I can be anything, you know. I don't like to be having one skill, you know. Yeah, man, and I also like to educate people. That was today's session. Kavadeka Zungu. It was, yeah, I would thank everyone who's there. Just look into the visas you want to come to Dubai. It is as easy as nothing as long as you have a, a good company you want to deal with. Check there. Uh, you can text me if you want to get anything. Can be a visa, visa two years, freelance visa, visa change, multiple free visa, spouse visa, anything you want. You know, you want to remove a discount, you want to pay for fines, you want to get police clearance from Uganda, and the one for. For you, and also remind my fellow Ugandans, guys ask for police clearance from Uganda, interpolator. So I'll tell you guys to uh, always, before you come to Uga to Dubai, make sure you make you you make that uh, that interpolator before you come join uh, Dubai. You have to get that interpolator so that when you come here, people don't send you back or don't send you into go to this biometric center and do the fingerprints blah blah i would advise all people who can get it it doesn't matter where you come from try to get that interpolator mostly ugandans because before getting a job they'll ask you for that thank you by a uganda temple representing i love you salam alaikum